everyone, this is Eric Dispan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Our lesson for today's video is about the co-function identities. And to apply this type of identities, we are going to solve three sample problems only. And without further ado, let's begin. We have six formulas for co-function identities. Let's enumerate. Number one, cosine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta. Sine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosine theta. Tangent 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cotangent theta. Cotangent 90 degrees minus theta is equal to tangent theta. Second 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosecant theta. And cosecant 90 degrees minus theta is equal to second theta. These identities hold any angle for which the functions are defined. And itong identity natin ito, yung 90 degrees na yan, can be obtained for a real number domain by replacing yung 90 degrees by radians or yung pi over 2 natin. And to apply the basic of co-function identities, let's take example number 1. Example number 1, determine one value of theta that satisfies the expression cotangent theta is equal to tangent 25 degrees. So, ang requirement is to find one value of the theta natin. So, paano gagawin natin dyan? We apply the co-function identities. And yung cotangent natin and yung tangent are co-functions. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin apply ng co-function identity para masolve natin itong one value of theta natin. So, we is a co-function identity. Yung cotangent theta natin by co-function identity is equal to tangent 90 degrees minus theta. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin itong i-substitute dito sa cotangent dot, dito sa cotangent theta natin para may, para masolve natin yung isang value ng theta. So, substitute natin. Let's rewrite the expression. We have cotangent theta is equal to tangent 25 degrees. I-apply natin dito, we have tangent 90 degrees minus theta is equal to tangent 25 degrees. Since yung ating set angle measures are equal, ito, pwede na nating tanggalin sa susunod na equation. So, this is 90 degrees minus theta is equal to 25 degrees. We can now solve for the value of theta. i rearrange lang natin yung buong equation. So, this is negative theta 25 degrees, ilipat natin sa kabila, magiging negative 90 degrees. This is negative theta is equal to 25 minus 90 is negative 65 degrees. Pero, since parehong may negative yung magkabilang equation, or ang gawin natin, divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 1, this is cancel, cancel, and ang theta natin ngayon is equal to 65 degrees. So, this is one value of our theta with a given expression. And this is example number one. Example number two, determine one value and again, we are asked to determine again the one value of our theta. Determine one value of theta that satisfies the expression sine theta is equal to cosine negative 30 degrees. We are going to apply again the co-function identity in this problem. Since yung ating sine at saka cosine are co-functions, sine theta by co-function identities is equal to cosine 90 degrees minus theta. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, eh, pwede na natin ilagay dito, this is now cosine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cosine negative 30 degrees. So, ang lagi nating pipiliin for co sa co-function identity is yung set angle measures na equal. Kagaya nito ulit. And that like example problem number 1. So, that pwede na natin siya nagkalin. This is now 90 degrees minus theta is equal to negative 30 degrees. And same process. Algebraic solution na po tayo. This is Negative theta is equal to negative 30. Lipat natin yung 90 sa kabila. Combine like terms. This is 90 degrees. Negative theta is equal to negative 120 degrees. And dividing both sides by negative 1 para makansil yung negative dito, dito. This theta is equal to positive 120 degrees. So this is example number 
2. Example number 3, our last example for co-function identities. Determine one value of theta that satisfies the expression ng ating expression naman na given ngayon ay cosecant 3 pi over 4 in terms of radian. Cosecant 3 pi over 4 is equal to second theta and we are going to solve the value of theta. Since cosecant and secant are co-functions, therefore we can use the co-function identities to solve for the one value of theta. Second theta is equal to cosecant pi over 2 minus theta. So this time, dahil in terms of radian tayo gagamitin natin, we convert the 90 degrees into radians which is yung pi over 2. So ilagay natin ito dito. Cosecant 3 pi over 4 is equal to cosecant pi over 2 minus theta. Again, set angle measures equal. So therefore, ito na lang yan. We have 3 pi over 4 is equal to pi over 2 minus theta. And we are going to solve now for theta. Lipat natin sa kabila. Lipat natin sa kabila. This is theta positive is equal to pi over 2 minus 3 pi over 4 and this is fraction so theta is equal to kung natin yung LCD ng dalawa na to we have 4 4 divided by 2 2 2 times pi is 2 pi 4 divided by 4 is 1 1 times 3 pi is 3 pi and this is negative nagyan na natin dito pi now is equal to 2 minus 3 is equal to negative pi over 4. And this is one value of our theta for example number 3. And that's all for co-function identities. Remember guys, co-function identities are very simple but pwede pa natin siyang apply into some larger trigonometric problems. So please like and share. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.